So we're excited to announce that we are doing an auction on Black Friday. Anybody that loves Black Friday sales, me, will love this sale. Because you get a horse sale, that's way better than any other Black Friday sale that I've done. The auction is going to open on Thanksgiving and it's going to close on Saturday. After Middle of Black, the day. After Black Friday. So it gives you guys basically Thursday night, Friday, and a little bit of Saturday to make your pick, put your bids in. We have two really, really, really awesome um, youngsters up for auction, so. Right. Before we jump into the horses, let's talk a little bit about the format. Each of the horses is going to start at $20,000. Which and is really an incredible price for the quality of these horses. Right, they're already here in the US, so there's no import fees, there's no exchange rate from the Euro. It's really a good starting point for these for two this youngsters. Quality, yeah. Right, for this quality. And the bid increments are gonna go up by $2,500. And it really is a good opportunity because we don't know how little or how much to expect from you guys, and so we're gonna give you guys the opportunity to bid and value these really, really special youngsters that we picked out just for this auction. Right, so the details of the auction can be found on our auction website, which is 32auctions.com slash EDI. I'll or, link all that info down there. Or you can just jump on the Exclusive Dressage Imports website, which is just www.exclusivedressageimports.com and you will see a section that says EDI Auctions. On the EDI Auctions um, page, you will find the information of both the horses and direct links to the bidding page. The bidding page is just meant to have you guys enter your bids and register to bid. The rest of the information is on our website. Right, and as this is the first for a lot of us, um, if there's any questions or any problems with placing bids or getting signed up for the auction, any of those questions, you can just contact us and we'll help you through the whole process. The horses will come with veterinary records for you guys to have. So hopefully this is as clear as we can make it. There will not be a buy it now option for this auction to allow you guys to really set the price for these two youngsters. Right. So let's go ahead and jump in and talk a little bit about each of these horses and why we selected them for this auction and kind of what we think about them. So we picked two of the most different horses we could have picked for an auction. They're very different. On purpose <laughs> and we did that because both of them are spectacular but they're very, very different. So it will allow you guys to have two very, very different options. On the one hand, we have Senorita She's a wonderful rising two-year-old filly by the world-famous Secret. Um, she's beautiful, lots of chrome, amazing mover, very lofty, a very modern horse. Right. Very, very sweet and kind. Um, will be a taller horse. She'll really, I mean, she'll really be quite special in the arena, I think. Right. She's a horse you watch and the suppleness in the body and the quality of the movement. It's this combination of this huge kind of expansive movement. But what I really like is oftentimes when you get that expansive movement, the hind leg is slow. And not she's hers. not hers, no. right? She has this quick hind leg underneath her, even though it's this very supple kind of fluid type of horse. So it's, it's very much uh, like her sire secret. And that horse to me, I've made videos about it before. That Maybe you can link that as well so you guys can see. Yeah, I'll link that up in one of these corners. Um, that horse is really a mind-blowing horse in terms of the quality all around. And what I really like about Secret is that when you watch Secret in riding, he's really effortless in his movements and it is exactly the way that she moves. Right. You'll see it in the video. I mean, we'll let them see. Right, beyond just the movement, uh, Senorita, she is a really special horse to be around. She's very sweet, she's very inquisitive. Sweet. She has this beautiful stallion neck already, which is, you know, usually this is their ugly stage. She's nowhere near ugly. 
She has these beautiful long legs, not a scratch on them, beautiful right. feet, a very nice conformation, and a very rich color in chestnut, almost yeah. between chestnut and liver chestnut. Right. Like an, almost like an auburn with yeah. chrome. She's, she's spectacular. Right. And she's very social. She likes to be with people, which is very important for me. So as we're filming some of these videos, of her free running and the round pin and everything, she's like, oh, can't we just hang, hang out? out? Yeah. And, and this likes morning... to be with us, likes to hang out. So it's really a sweet horse. That's great. <laughs> Hi, you. Hi, you. Oh my God. Amazing movie. Oh, huh? you look like Papa. And this morning I went to see her and she was sound asleep. I, did you get my picture I sent you? Yeah, 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 yeah. So she's really a good horse. I think she'll be very, very nice under saddle because she's very responsive um, to your voice. She's very responsive to touch. She's not overly sensitive, but right. the movement is really spectacular. Right. So that's Senorita. And Romeo. Completely different horse. Completely different type, but somehow they both fall into this EDI category. Very EDI elite quality. mover. Very elite mover. Right. I'm very excited about him. He is a typical EDI stamped horse. Beautiful looks, beautiful mechanics, super well bred out of a Grand Prix sire. Right. Um, so, so Romeo is Roman nature Sandro hit. And that, that's out of the Rodiament line. Right. He's a a coming three-year-old, and so one year older than Senorita. He's a small, compact type, so very different than this modern silhouette that she has. He's right. what I like to call like a powerhouse. Like this is a horse that you already sure. see the Piaf Passage mechanics so clearly. And right. for me, this is a horse that under saddle will be a hundred times better. He's really responsive yeah. to the training very very soft in the mouth when already just green to being you know in a bridle and in the surcingle and totally accepting very responsive to going forward and pulling back very clear walk yeah. great feet great confirmation it's a small horse so it's definitely a type of horse that's going to fit a different type of rider mm -hmm. and if you are looking for a little bit of this small, elite, compact powerhouse, this yeah, is your guy. For sure. The way that he can move the front legs and the hind legs together is amazing. It's mind blowing to me. For sure. So that's Romeo and he is also very, very sweet and laid back. So very relaxed. The first time we clipped him, the first time he's ever been clipped. He right was... out of the fields from Germany right. to America. Gets here, gets clipped. So relaxed. Puts his head down. the ears, everything relaxed. He's been great for Jess to braid. Yeah. Um, really forgiving in terms of wanting to let you work with him. And I, I think in training him a little bit, he's very quick to learn, to pick up on what we're asking for and how, how we're wanting things done. He's very receptive and very smart. And I think he'll be quite a nice forward horse because even though he's very relaxed on the ground, when you put him to work, he is 100% there, ready to work. Right. Like he knows the drill. Yeah. And he picked that up very fast. Yeah. So that's the two horses. We're going to be posting updates and doing more videos throughout the week until the auction begins. So check the YouTube channel, check our Instagram, which is exclusive dressage imports, check the website. That's where we'll be dropping videos and pictures and whatever footage we can get. Feel free to contact us with any questions and I'm excited. I'm really excited. It's, it's scary to let such nice horses go like this, but they, yeah. I mean, they really deserve a good home. Okay, I think what we should do be just to have it is just like, welcome to EDI's first Black Friday sale. And like, just okay. kind of have like an opening. Ready? Let's roll for it. Okay, welcome. No, fuck, fuck that. <laughs> I <butchered> it. <laughs> <laughs> that was too cheesy. Yeah, that was too cheesy. That's going in the bloopers for you sure. Ready? You ready? Three, Welcome. Two. One. Welcome to the EDI Black Friday sale. Welcome. Get your turkeys ready. <laughs> no, don't eat the turkeys. They're so cute. Don't eat the turkeys, but you oh, should bid on the man. sale.
Don't eat the turkeys. Okay, ready? Yeah, how's my hair look? Does it look amazing? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> like, I wouldn't call it amazing. I wouldn't call it amazing, <laughs> but I've seen worse. Oh, this looks amazing. And Should we do like a It's a, a little bit toupee-ish. What the heck is toupee-ish? Toupee is like what old people wear to like cover their bald spot. <laughs> Should we do a blooper reel at the end of this video? Yeah, you ready? Yeah, what's the bloopers gonna be? You are always the blooper. All right, guys, look at this toupee. <laughs> it's like it's not an actual toupee. Joe still toupee. has good hair, not for long. Yeah, I'm gonna bald okay. soon. Ready? Let's I'm go gonna for bald it. after the stress of this auction. <laughs> Are we just gonna be like glued to our seats, watching the, the screen, like waiting for someone to bid? What if none of them sold? You have something on your face over here. <laughs> what do I have? What do I have? What do I have? It was something right here. Oh yeah, it's like food or something. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, ready? Ready? Set. Jet. Go. How many takes are we gonna have to get ready? to do this? Thing? Take two. Take three. Go. Take four. <laughs> Go. Oh wait, I'm the one that's starting. <laughs> Welcome. And yes, Joseph does need hair product. No, I don't need hair product. It's like flimsy. Feel like... free to send all hair product to 6930 <laughs> Via del Charo. <laughs> Rancho Santa Fe, California, 92130. How do I look in this video? Thank you. I'm kind of pale. Ghost-like? No, I think it's from the sun. I think so too. Okay, ready? Let's go. Welcome. Mm -hmm.